A well-known priest who also served as the national co-chair of Pro-Life Voices for Trump has been kicked out of the priesthood by Pope Francis. The Vatican said the decision to remove Frank Pavone was due to his blasphemous social media posts, which Pavone says is regarding a 2020 Twitter post in which he referred to supporters of this GD loser Biden and his morally corrupt America-hating, God-hating Democrat Party. Now, the shocking move on the part of the Pope is made all the more remarkable due to the allegations of sexual and financial deviancy from top Vatican officials who remain at the Vatican totally unpunished. Pavone remains defiant, however, still calling himself father and continuing to celebrate Mass since the Vatican's excommunication or communication uh, about this. Joining me now, Father Frank Pavone, National Director of Priests for Life. Uh, Father Pavone, it's good to see you tonight. I know it's a very difficult time for you. You said you learned this from a news agency. Have you been formally no, notified by the Vatican? That's right. Uh, Laura, this is actually the culmination of 21 years of abuse by church authorities to me and to my ministry, despite the fact that we help the Vatican. We help to run the, 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 uh, some of the operations out of the, the Pope's uh, mission to the United Nations. We help the Secretariat of State with international pro-life issues. We run the largest ministry for healing after abortion, uh, for which Pope Francis has personally encouraged me to keep going on it. We do all kinds of other pro-life work with which many of our viewers are familiar. Why are they doing this? A lot of it obviously is connected with the, the cancel culture that comes against supporters of President Trump and critics of the Democrat Party. Party, and we're only going to get louder about that. We're not going to be silenced. Uh, this is an effort. This is not just an effort to silence me, but to so many of us. People are losing their jobs, as you know, because they stand for their conservative values. They stand up for their conscience. And, and so they're trying to do the same within the church to priests like me. It's not going to work. The social media post is just an excuse. They've given me 21 years of excuses. It's always shifting sands. Yeah. It's always changing goalposts, uh, as you can well appreciate. Well, um, let me ask one question, Father Pavone. I know your work, and you've done such amazing work over the years. But were you asked at one point to become a parish priest, and you declined? Did that actually occur? Oh, absolutely. That, that's what, how this started. The reason I say 21 years is that in 2001, Cardinal Egan, after I had led Priests for Life for, for eight years and also served at the Vatican for two of those years in the pro-life office under John Paul II, he said, oh, I want you to go do parish work. Well, there was an uproar from the people. There wasn't only an objection from me. His office got inundated. And Priests for Life at that time was only a fraction of the size that we are now. And, and people said, why can't a priest devote himself full time to defending the unborn and ending abortion? I'm convinced that's part of my vocation. My vocation is to be a priest and to be a full-time pro-life leader, and I don't intend to right, walk but away. Right, but as a priest, wanna... yeah, but as a priest, Father Pavone, you, you have to go where the church tells you to go, correct? I mean, I know a lot of priests well, who didn't want to change parishes, but they were told oh, you have yes. to go to, you know, an inner city parish. But we, we don't want to get into all the minutiae because it's confusing. I got to ask you one other question, though, because you say you want to appeal this, but they say there is no appeal process for what just happened. So what do you do? If, if the pope signs off on something, what they mean is there's nobody in the church above the pope. We all understand that. But that doesn't mean there's no way to change this. The pope himself can reverse it. The next pope can reverse it. Uh, and the people, and I'm appealing to the people of God to continue working with us and show the support for this work of saving lives and healing hearts. If the pope closes the door on me, Laura, I'm going to be right there on the other side of that door waiting for it to open again. I'm not going to a different church. I'm a loyal Catholic. I'm a loyal priest. And uh, this is this is not going to last because this is against all of us. And it's a cancel culture in the church. It's got to be exposed and it's got to be resisted. Well, it is. And meanwhile, Father James Martin, he gets, you know, meetings with the Pope, and he obviously is a fairly radical guy out there, and no problem there. Father, right. we really appreciate, we appreciate you, and we're going to be following this story very closely. Thank you so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.